What's going on, guys? It's DJ Lee with Producer Hacks. Let's get right to it. Today, I just want to cover a topic called delay. Now, a question I always receive is what exactly is delay? So to help me answer that question, I loaded up a sample and I loaded up a song that I made a while ago called Scream. Now, Scream is available on all platforms, Spotify, Apple Music, Amazon Music, YouTube. Go ahead and check that out when you get a chance. And in the background, you can hear a sample going, movie, all right? The main focus here is to understand how that sample, that sample in the background is such on, is so on beat that it's able to not disrupt anything else going on in the song. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn this up and we're gonna listen for a few seconds and hear how the sample is sounding in the background. So as we continue to listen, you can hear how my vocals, my vocals also have an, a delay effect on it. If you can hear the yeah, yeah, lights, 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 cameras, cameras, cameras. You see how that echoes around? Then there goes the movie in the background. So this brings a cinematic effect. It's kind of filling the room with a whole bunch of suspense and build and building it up. All right, it's making it sound like we're in a huge stadium. Movie, you hear it in the background? Action, action, scream. Really am a genius with the wordplay. All right, so there's a whole bunch of delay going on back and forth throughout this song. Now, to help me explain how delay actually works, I'm going to answer a few questions. First question is, when do you want to use delay? The answer to that question is whenever you want to use it. You just have to know your BPM and tempo. So this BPM for this song is 77 beats per minute. This is going to help me line up my quarter notes, my half notes, my full notes, all right, my uh, my eighth notes and my sixteenth notes on the echo delay time. Now you don't want to be using delay too much off of beat when the music is playing on beat because it's gonna set everything off. It's gonna sound a little bit sloppy. So to help me explain this concept, I loaded up a sample that I use for DJing. This sample goes Lee. That's all it does. It says Lee. So I'm gonna load that up real quick. Listen, you'll hear it in a second. And this is gonna help us understand delay. Delay pretty much is how that vocal hits the wall and bounces it back, how long that actually takes. Lee! So that's that sample right there, all right? Let me pause the music for a quick second so we can just hear how this sample is gonna be affected, all right? I loaded up the Pro Tools stock delay called Modulation Delay 3. Lee! Once again, that's our vocal, all right? Now, to answer that question one more time, we want to use delay on beat. So let's go ahead and open up this bypass, unbypass that. Lee, Lee, Lee. So right now, this is our BPM, and we're hearing a great delay, all right, at a quarter note delay. Let's go back to our factory settings. And let me just explain what we're looking at right here. Lee. So up top is our delay time, 250 milliseconds. We can link the left stereo track to the right stereo track, because these are, these are, this is a stereo effect. And Lee. this is our mix, left side mix, right side mix. How much of the sample we're hearing in the mix? How much of the effect we're hearing in the mix? Wet means it's all the way up, dry means Lee. it's all the way down. Now, this is a direct delay. This is not a bust aux track delay. This is a direct on the track delay. So we have to change this mix in order to get a great sounding Lee. delay time and not a delayed delay. That's a double delay, a delayed delay. So what this meter here on the left is, is our input volume. When that input comes in, this is what you're going to see this fill up. Lee. That's our input. On this side is our output, what goes back out. So it goes in through here, hits all of these effects, goes out through this side. Now, right here is our feedback time, how Lee. many times it's going to actually echo. So what we're going to do is we're gonna, we have an option to link the right side and the left side. We're going to go ahead and link those two sides together real quick. And we're going to change what we have going on. Down Lee. here is our quarter note, half note, whole note, eighth note, sixteenth note. These are going to be how we pretty much use our tempo and we get this whole thing to sync up on beat. Lee. So if we leave our mix time all the way up on wet, a full wet mix, and both of our sides are linked up, we're going to go ahead and hit the quarter note delay. 
and it's going to change for both sides. You see that the, it says 779.2 milliseconds. They're both linked up. Now, we're going to go ahead and we're going to slide that wet down to about 50% so we can hear the delay. Lee, Lee. All right, so it gave you one delay because our feedback is only on 0%, so it's only going to give you one delay, one echo. One more time. Lee, Lee. Good. Let's go ahead and bring it to a uh, half note and hear how the half note delay sounds. Like I said, both sides, they changed. Lee, Lee. So now that's a half note delay. All right. That goes on every three, every two beats. On the third beat, it will come in again. So it'll go one, two, boom, one, two, boom. So here we go. Lee. One, two, Lee. boom. All right, very simple. Same thing with our whole note delay. Our whole note's going to actually be on a four count, so every one, two, three, four sample comes in. Here we go. Lee. Two, three, four. Lee. Two, three, four. All right. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our quarter note delay time, and we're going to adjust the feedback so we can hear more than one Lee. delay. Lee. So as I go up, you can hear the delay ringing out. Lee, Lee, Lee. It's ringing out, ringing out, ringing out, ringing out. This is how you create a longer delay time and a cooler effect. So if you were actually on a Grand Canyon and you said, hey, or have you ever seen the movie um, Brother Bear? When they go, you shut up, you shut up, and he's talking to himself. That's all this is. You, when it comes to audio engineering, you'll be using a lot of delay times, a lot of cool effects to get your movies to pop out better. This isn't just about music. This goes with all audio engineering and all sound design. Lee, you want to learn a delay effect. Now, we can edit our delay. We can EQ our delay. We can add an effect on your delay. There's so much you can do when it comes to plugins, but we're going to talk about just how delay works. So delay Lee, on this specific Lee. Pro Tools stock EQ, stock delay, you can adjust the low pass filter, which is the delay's sound quality. So pretty much we can cut off the Lee, highs. Lee. And the delays are going to sound like Lee. Then the behind it, it's going to go, it's going to be more muffled. I can't make the sound. It's going to be more muffled. All right, so let's do that real quick. Lee, Lee. So you hear the highs are all gone, and it's just low delays. Let's drop it even lower. Lee, Lee. All right, let's bring it all the way back up to about, let's go to about 2,000. And you can hear the highs. Lee, Lee. You can hear the highs come on right back in as that delay, low pass filter goes back up. So let's turn the, the low pass filter all the way off, and it's gonna be the full sample on delay. Lee, Lee, Lee. Now another cool thing you can do with this specific one and pretty much any stereo delay is you can offset them so they unlink them, and you can have two different delays. So through the right speaker we can have Lee, a half Lee. note delay. Through the left speaker, we can have a quarter note delay. And here are the differences. It's going to go, Lee, 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 Lee. And it's going to be just bouncing ping pong effect. That's all the ping pong Lee, effect is. Lee, Lee. So as you can hear that, that's more of a ping pong quarter note and half note effect. And we can also switch them up. And left side could be half note. Right side could be Lee, quarter note. Lee, Lee. And then we can adjust the output to hear to hear the, the delays go a little bit lower on whatever side you want to hear a little bit lower on. You can adjust the right side to be a low pass filter. Lee, Lee, Lee. You could vice versa that. This side could be low pass filter. You hear sounds from left to right, so I'm going I'm to I'm adjust that so that the right side is a little Lee, bit lower. Lee, Lee. All right, let's put this one on the half note. Let's put this one on the quarter. Let's make the right side lower than the left. Let's see how that sounds. Lee, Lee, Lee. And let's just swap the low pass filter so it sounds better coming through the headphones. You want to hear that Lee in the middle? Then Lee, 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 Lee. All right? Lee, 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 Lee. Perfect. Right? So let's hear how that sounds in this mix. And since we're so synced up on beat, it sounds like it's blending in right with the song. Let's put it in the background. Let's 
let me go ahead and just actually duplicate this so we can hear this sample one more time all right give me one second guys So like I said previously, you want to have your BPM, you want to have your, your sample on the right notes. All right, let me just show you exactly what I mean by that. I got my sample directly on that, on that first beat. DJs pay attention because this is very important when you're dropping your vocal effects or your DJ drops. Drop them on beat. Don't just be dropping bombs and dropping lasers. Try Let's try to line them up and get more of a professional sound. They gonna be like, yeah, yeah. So here we go. It's gonna come in a second one more time. It's gonna go, Lee. here we go. Yes, there we go. There we go. Build it up. Build it up. Lights, cameras, action. Lights. And don't forget, we still have that movie in the background going, movie. Lights. All right, then we got that Lee coming back in. What's Amanda, a girl, a girl in my feet. And that that's pretty much how I want to wrap up delay. Delay is such a cool effect. And once you really master how to delay, the, the, the options are so, so huge. What you can do with your songs, with your sound design, with your audio engineering. This goes good on vocals, singers' voices. It goes good on melodies. It goes great on instruments, drums. Get your knocks right. And that's pretty much it. So once again, I just want to thank you guys for tuning in to It's DJ Lee TV. This is It's DJ Lee with Producer Hacks. Once again, shout out to Odie Hustle. Shout out to Everything Mimi. Shout out to uh, uh, Olympian Official. Make sure you go ahead and visit those sites. We have a lot of discounts, a lot of giveaways, a lot of cool things, a lot of fitness deals. And until next time, guys, I'm out. You don't got the bread, we ain't speaking. Still don't got bread, so he's cheating. You don't got the bread, the fuck you eating? Why you niggas crying on Sunday?